Good evening, Paris. Oh, please, do come close. You know you want to smell it. Yeah, so I want you to smell it. I'm just actually doing a sound check to get the uh, feedback out of the monitors. Yeah. I'd like to thank the University of Chicago, Paris, for putting up with me for most of my life. And there we go. That's why we're here tonight. Consider this a very private affair. I am here joined by Francois Cambuzet, uh, Weasel Walter, James Sedwards. I'm Lydia Lange. This is Breaking Open the Head again. Take it away. <laughs> I just want to be the laziest bitch in the whorehouse. Legs spread wide, lucky strike dangling from my cock stained scarlet lips, eyes on the alarm clock, dreaming about my funeral procession, which will be a century-long samba littered with hundreds of dead soldiers, all those who had come to soil my battlefield with their heavy artillery, the way they would bang into me like bullets fired at point blank range. My mind swill drunk on the uncountable contaminants I have feasted on for years as some kind of twisted prophylactic against my own sickness. My mind littered with MDMA, cocaine, Xanax, cognac, cannabis. Some days, some days, some nights, some nights, some nights. I saw the best minds of my generation scoring dime bags and dope on Avenue D. Their sickness insufferable from their disease. And they'd wake up, pass out, and puke and always say the same things. Some days, some nights, some decades are meant to be wasted. Well, I can assure you I have not wasted a second of my fucking life. <laughs> Thank you. 
feeling so fucking murderous again. I'm feeling murderous again. I'm feeling murderous again. Now we can just consider it possible that it's part of my corrosive bloodline, that it's something that's bruising my bones from the inside out, that there is something seeking retribution against the host carrier, that I am suffering from some kind of electro spasms of agitation, spitting shock waves that ripple under the skin, irritating from the outside in. This is the state I'm 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 in. You know, there's a part of me that lives in this state perpetually. The blood letter, the psychotic, the neurotic, suffering from undefinable mood swings. I scream at myself to just fucking stop, to just stop, to just shut up, to just forget. I wish I could fucking forget, I can't forget. I try to find a way to forget each fucking day, though I wake up and again, I'm feeling murderous. Stand the sensation. You know what I'm talking about. One foot in front of the other, another thousand Sisyphean beats. Self from infatuation that a sharp, 
stick in the eye kills the devil in the soul every time and night after night those demented visions of some woe-begotten messenger of the Lord is probably living down at the hangover hotel where everybody's just living hand to mouth trying to get ahead by ship a quick jog down to the corner store to pick up Jack Daniels, a couple of dozen beers, let's see, a handful of condoms, and maybe some aspirins for the morning after, and it's gonna bring you down real hard by about 200 heroes, and then all you're gonna be left with is your dreams, and all you're gonna be dreaming about is the way it used to be, the way it used to be, shit, the way it still is, Dirt shaped deeds, sloppily executed on sheetless mattresses, bringing secrets to the surface with blood and alcohol. Bringing secrets to the surface with blood and alcohol. crushing in on me, partial hypnosis, masking a gnawing wound, that chronic itch surrounding a vacuum when what you want, are, can, do, have done is so fucking much more than what you have right now and can do. And limbo becomes a daily crucifixion, a swelling irritation contaminates and inflames, and it's a really fucking brutal way. That's a really brutal way to greet the day. Stuck in one of those what the fuck moments. A spinning schism which irritates from the so exhausted, so spent, so fucking much loss, so many deaths, so much murder, so many suicides, so much sickness, annoying, nagging, feeling, dragging me in circles as it, the killer inside me snickers, his impotence turned to treachery as he flees alive, his nearest victim. I need heat. I need heat, I need the blinding sun. I need the devil winds to burn away thoughts as I rampage through one crime scene to the bloody next to some nonviolent psychic, sick of the psychic pain, like a battering and bruising, like a battered baby ghost trapped in limbo, screaming. Let me out, please. 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 Let me out. Stop in the 
another one of those what the fuck moment stuck in another one of those what the fuck moments searching for a way in, a way out. I know it takes a master alchemist. It takes a master alchemist. It takes hoodoo, voodoo, santaria, sleight of hand. It takes tarot, cheap parlor tricks. I'm still searching for the real ecstasy. You see, ecstasy slips through my fingers far too often. I'm still searching for not a weekend rave like the rest of you motherfuckers. I'm searching for real ecstasy. I'm searching, you see, as a woman, 
I suffer from a daily battle of extreme mood swings, where apathy clobbers into chaos, which bangs up against aggression, which forces its way into anger, which eventually might arise at sexual stimulation, which could lead to ex- I'm still searching for the truth. I'm still searching for a way in, a way out, someone who fucking gets me, somebody who understands and knows the real thing, somebody who knows what they want and knows how to fucking get it. I'm still searching for the truth. I'm still searching for the truth. That he, he said I was like a dirty white honeysuckle. He said I was like the night. He said I was like the night running off. He said I was like the night I always run off in the fucking night. Dawn slowly blisters through the night sky, shredding a green gray pus in the nuclear sunset. I'm trying to find a way to see those ghost-sized lifelike images which are supposed... I can't tell what's real anymore. 
All I know is I'm sleeping with his memory. If I roll my eyes far enough back inside my head, just letting a sliver like a white crescent moon like it is tonight crack the morning sun, I will zero in on him and his last thought will scare like a five in dime store gypsy fortune teller. His last thought will scare the living shit out of me. in the corner late at night, scared a holy ghost, waiting for his mommy to kamikaze into the demilitarizer. They said...
you'll never find his body. You'll never find his body. I saw him first in the post office. His face was a blurry stain and a yellow sheet of paper. It said, wanted for, but I can't remember what he was, I know that I wanted him before I knew it was him. That I, it was like getting lost in a film, maybe I've seen one too many late night black and white film noirs like Strangers on a Train, Rope, Fire Walk With Me, Gun Crazy, Nightmare Alley, Vengeance is mine, Vengeance is mine, yeah, you see, he thought I was the ideal reflection of what he saw in his own eyes, really, merely all I did was drain my eyes. Beautiful eyes, which lie, beautiful eyes, which lie, as I train them of everything it was ever he did desire. He saw in me the ideal reflection of a man. My lips were twisting around a man who thought he was him. It was merely me, my greed, my need, my, I remember, and he did. I remember a time, I remember a time when he was trying to reinvent himself before the violence and the malevolence was like a firestorm. Yeah. He was seeking relief in my cruel smile. My lips were twisting around a man who he thought was him and it was merely me. Yeah. I remember a time before the violence and before I remember a time before he became a punch drunk boxer bruising shadows and raping ghosts before it was a spontaneous combustion of bloodlust. I remember a time when the killer inside of him wanted inside of me, but the killer inside of me has a mind of her fucking own. And before I knew it, my hands were around his throat and his neck was broken in three different fucking... Now maybe I've just seen one too many late night black and white film noirs like Strangers on a Train, Rope, Fire Walk With Me. Vengeance is mine. Vengeance is mine.
sheep night. Late night lost. Stranded in that haunted no man's land on the corner of sunset and accidental. The ghosts of all those that could have been, should have been, leave a Vaseline smeared smudged on the rear view mirror's busted glass. I'm lonely as one left shoe tossed out the window of the starlight motel, there is no drug potent enough to burn off that memory of him, that soured, honeyed tumbleweed of hair that smelt of dirty sex and cigarettes. He's just a mirage. He's just a mirage. He's crushing. His kiss is burnt into my lips like a faded hologram. I keep it reaching for his mouth, forgetting about how the night bled out, turning a beautiful angel into a beautiful corpse. He's just a mirage. He's just a mirage. Crushing me, he slowly rises like a desert rat, gathering the strength of dead men everywhere. He sinks in, he slinks in, he's in my skin. I have a soft spot. I have a soft spot for him. Kisses on the raise, kisses on the razors. I have a soft spot for him. Kisses on the razors. My lips have turned to dust, preventing argument against his hypnotic pill. He, he is telling me to pick up the snub nose. Pick up the snub nose. My bones are hollow husks. He's just a mirage. He's just a mirage. He's crushing me.
Francois, yes, you know who he is. James Severs, Weasel Walter, I'm your fucking godfather. Thank you.